Hello everybody, today we're going to be making a rocket simulation project. So as you can see here, you can press W to make a rocket fly, and you can turn around and have that move as well. And then you can see here, the sky changes color as well, so that's pretty cool. And then you can do like a Falcon 9 SpaceX style landing, it as well. And then this is, can be the base of like many other games, you can use this. Um, you can add stuff to it, you can add fuels and what, what not. We might teach that in a future episode, but this is just part one. So, it's pretty basic, but I would still say that's pretty cool. So yeah, let's get started. So first thing you want to do is to make your little rocket sprite. And, um, it does take me a while here, I'm not that good at it, so this is sped up. But, um, I'm not very honest still, so if you're better or you can take your time and make a really good looking rocket. But, you can see me just making a little rocket and clearing that the fins in there, making it smaller than going to code. So, the next thing you want to do is add a bunch of variables. So, and then, after you have the variables, you want to make a my block. And what this my block is going to do is, it's going to turn your, like, in-game coordinates to coordinates on the screen because depending on your zoom and where your camera's at you can have different positions because where else you'd be limited to like two, 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 240 and like 180 but for this you can go really far so next you can be starting this loop um, be sure to add that like wait 0 0.01 second block that's really important and then here I have a broadcast frame so every time, every like a few times every second, it's gonna broadcast the frame variable, and then that'll do stuff. But first, we need to reset all the variables after each time. So you start at the ground. So you, here you can see me just making it so the rocket goes the correct size depending on how zoomed in it is. Because if your zoom is bigger, then naturally you'll go fast. Uh, you go the rocket will be bigger. Next thing you can see me doing here is um, making the my block and then doing the variables. And the next thing you want to do here is add another little variable that can be pretty important. So next thing you want to do is um, change the camera position to match your rocket position, so your the camera follows the rocket. So that way, if your rocket goes like off screen, the camera can follow it. He has a big glitch though, and it doesn't work so well because there's no ground, so you can't tell what's actually going on. So you can see me just quickly making a ground sprite. Um, it's important to line up like the top of your ground with the middle of the canvas there. Now I'll make this better um, in part two, the ground, because currently it's just like a green blob you can't see much, but it's pretty simple, so it works pretty well. So next you want to drag the stuff in, uh, the my block in from the other sprite, and then you can just add camera. X to um, the thing, and then um, zero, so it naturally assumes that the ground is at zero. Now the rocket's a bit too big, so it looks like it's falling really slowly, but no problem, I'll just change the zoom size, and then boom, now it falls fast enough, but it's a bit zoomed out right now, so you can make the starting zoom a bit bigger. Well, make it so you can dynamically change zoom during game, um, in flight, if you uh, later, but for now, we'll just keep going with this. Next thing we're doing here is um, making it so you can actually go up. So here I'm just saying if you're pressing a key, now you can uh, change your X and Y velocities. Wait, no, that's ground collision, sorry. This is ground collision, so if you're touching the ground, you're gonna be doing, you're gonna be going out of the ground. And then here you can see me just tweaking that variable here. And then, after this, um, just testing things out, so now that looks pretty stable. So the next thing we want to do, finally, is we're going to make um, the rocket thr have thrust, so it can move up and down. So this is important, so the rocket is not really anything useful if you can't move up and down. So in, here you can see me tweaking things, and then adding this thing, which will make it thrust in the correct direction depending on where it's turning. The first try at this doesn't work that well and messed up with the cosines and the signs. 
So here you can just see me debugging that real quick. And then I realized that I got the sines and cosines mixed up, so there we go. Now this works much, much better. So here everything works out, and I'm pretty sure it's working. So I do a bit of stuff to make sure that it's working. And after a while, here you can just see me playing around to see if you can hover and stuff. So now the rockets, I think, now we're resetting the project, and then we are testing again. Here you can see the rocket taking off. And then the ground clips, like the ground's not supposed to be there, but it's uh, there, we'll fix that later. But for now you can see that, yep, the project works as expected. So, the next thing we're gonna do is, um, we're gonna, oh, well that's phase one complete, so this is the basics. But the next thing we're actually gonna do is, um, do a bit more like polishing. So the ground, it clips in, so what we do is, we have a sprite that's really far up. So now Scratch thinks that you can move the ground sprite far down. So what we, we do is we switch to the top sprite, which goes up, and then once, um, the, and then we switch to that set the position, and then we switch back to the original ground sprite, so now the ground sprite can go off screen, and that's why it's important to have it centered, so it can actually go off screen and hide itself, kind of. You can just see like a simple tweak is really effective. And then here I'm just tweaking around with the um, ground collision stuff. And what I end up doing here is making a Maya block that's um, with better ground collision because for a Maya block you can make it one instantly instead of having a jittery effect. So here you can see me coding that, and then also we're having. Um, turning so now you can actually turn the rocket I think no that's zooming sorry now you can zoom so you can see where you're going and then so you can zoom out and zoom in next thing we're gonna do is um, add a new thing so the um, it's a big fairy uh, it's a big sprite so we switch to that and then you switch to your original sprite, again, it's kind of like the ground thing, you can trick Scratch into thinking that you can actually set things to things that you're not supposed to be. So, here you can see me doing that, and then now the rocket can go smaller than what it was supposed to do. So, now we can like, kind of trick Scratch into letting us make this rocket really, really small, so it's a bit more realistic looking. So the next thing we end up doing here is just making this a bit bigger so we can trick Scratch just a tiny bit more, make the rocket just a bit smaller. Here you can just see me testing things out. And then I think I end up increasing the thrust here. So now you can actually go up faster. And then after, you can see me zooming out, just test out that. So this is like a general test to see how it works. And after that, I'm adding a little time variable so you can see the in-game time from when you started. And then here you can see that time's passing really slowly. Why is that? Because you're not using turbo mode. So with turbo mode, you can make scratch so many things faster, so now it's closer to real stuff in real time. You can see me doing rocket zoom, uh, um, rocket spinning, sorry. And it doesn't quite look right. And um, after a bit of tinkering, you can get to values that actually look right, so that turning's a bit too fast there. So, um, after we're doing a bunch of stuff, now you can have rocket turning, and it's a bit too fast still, so what we can do is tweak it to your liking, so this is a bit fast for me, but if you tweak the rotation values, you can make it turn slower, which is more of what I like. So here you can just see me testing that out, it's working pretty decently, so now you can land stuff and more accuracy because you can turn your rocket around. I just want to do here is the exhaust bloom and this is something that was really hard to do when I started out but what you want to do is have like a rectangle and then make one side transparent make one side orange duplicate that and make that one white and then but just make that way smaller and have that like go in if that makes sense and then now it's like more pointy and then for the other one, you just want to extend that out. And then that looks like a rocket plume, so it looks pretty good. We make it centered, 
and then we duplicate it and then we have animation so that's changing how long it is changing the shape of it you can see me doing that so when um do, do the code here right so when uh, forever and then change the costume now it looks more realistic here is just um it's pointing the direction of the rocket turning a bit and then moving a few steps based on how zoomed out it is and then after a bit of tweaking you get this effect um, and then an another thing I'm doing here is making it change based on how zoomed in out it is so that looks way better also we want to make it so only if you're thrusting does it show up or else it hides so you can see me twisting that out looks pretty cool so that works pretty well and works as intended so I'm just refreshing the product there. Next thing I want to do is the sky, which I think is the, one of the best parts of the project. It looks really, really cool. So what you want to do is grab different shades of blue and then blend that. You see the four small squares at the top? Those are um, different blending modes. And then here, what you want to do is based on how tall you are and that, like how high up you are in the atmosphere, it changes colors. So here you can see me going up, and as the rocket goes up, the sky turns into the sky, the sky turns darker. So that is basically the final project. You can hide the variables, make them into large readouts if you want. So I'm just demonstrating the project here, and um, stay tuned for part two because part two will have a lot of other cool things like. Um, just better stuff in general, bug fixes, making the ground look better, and um, maybe fuel and stuff like that. So stay tuned for that. I'm really excited to show that. And um, don't forget, you can change stuff here. So change it to your liking, mess around with the variables to see what they do, and then make it so you like it. Um, just change it to like it more if you, this is not what you're into. Um, you can change the rocket sprite, change the exhaust sprite, so much you can do here. You can add like other things, like maybe incorporate like a score or a time or a landing so, or whatever. So it's really up to you what you do with the game. But just stay tuned for part 3 of the second. Thank you. And uh, yeah, see you guys in the rest of your day. Bye.